So just to recap, we got as far as um, talking about uh, the various types of interface and uh, the uses for those interface and um, lastly we ended with um, that bit there where we talked about technicians so let's go back and think to ourselves again and remind ourselves what a, an interface really is what HCI is really about it's really about the user sitting on one side and the device whatever that may be sitting on the other side and the interface is the bit in the middle and so it's the human and computer interface sort of goes together like that and further recap when you get into detail it's about input and output so you don't only need to consider uh, being able to describe what they are and uses for them you need to consider a little bit which may come up in a question not as likely as um, as the main bit of this but could come up in the question as regards designing an interface this is really there will be something covered in detail later on but it's worth knowing a few points or thinking about new points just in a few of these points just in case this question comes up so when you are designing uh, an interface you need to think about the clarity of the layout in other words um, how you put things on the screen where they're going to appear on the screen um, contrasting colors all those kinds of things and how you're going to get from one place to another this is really important when you're doing them on screen forms the amount of times I fill in a form and it gets really aggravating which bit it goes to next can you tab between the various fields to enter um, data all those kinds of things so you need to make it easier for people and basically that last point you really need to make sure that you can enter all the data that you need to enter there's no good having a form if it doesn't collect all the data you need is there I know it sounds like common sense but but it really isn't sometimes especially when you get down to a basic level of people um, putting forms together and then when we talk about output um, what is displayed to you um, or displayed to any user um, through an interface there's got to be some sort of it's got to have a clear format and it's about it comes down to the understandability can you understand what's going on think of this in terms of um, you can walk up to one of them pub quiz games or one of the tourist information and it's quite intuitive isn't it you can click on something and you can go to something else and you really don't need any instruction manual to do that it's quite easy um, likewise when you um, play games on computers the interface that's given in front of you there do you really need to um, read a manual well depends on the game I suppose but you know the idea is it becomes easily understandable and in a format you can understand quite easily so you got to think of when it comes to the interface what's the purpose of it really the purpose of an interface and you've got to be ask, ask, asking those three questions really when it comes to um, designing uh, an interface you know who's your audience what is it really there for and then again where's it used so in other words if it is on one of those consoles with the touch screen mm, that's a bit different uh, is touch screen the best place for typing in a lot of text mm, that's a good example of something to think about isn't it so really all those um, come into question so really this is the um, minor points as regards human computer interface the first presentation I give on that is really the most important bits but it's worth having a look at this as well